Hello everyone. You're welcome to Philco Mathematics. Here we provide solutions to math problems into detail. Okay, so this is what we have before us today. We have k square root of k square root of k equals 2. Now, the first thing we do is to Okay, let's rewrite it this way. We have k multiply by now the first square root of k there is under one square root, right? The first k there or the second k is under one square root. So we have 1 over 2 as its power. And then the second one is under 2 square root sign. So we write k to the power of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 and then the whole of this is equal to 2 okay now the next thing is this we multiply the power there now especially the <clears throat> the last k so we have k multiplied by k to the power of 2 multiplied by k to the power of 1 over 4 sorry this is 1 over 2 and then everything equals 2 now, if we continue with this, remember we have the same powers, the same base, so we can add the powers, right? So I'll pick one of the bases, and the powers will be 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4, and this is equal to 2. Okay, so the next thing is for me to add what I have over here. Now let me add the exponent first. Okay, I will add the exponent right away. We have 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. Okay, so the LCM is 4. And then 4 by, remember this could be over 1. So 4 divided by 1 is 4 times 1 is also 4 plus 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 1 is 2 plus 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 1 is 1 and at the end of the day we have 7 <clears throat> we have 7 over 4 okay as the power right so this means that we have 4 sorry is k this means that we have k to the power of 7 over over 4 and it's equal to 2 okay remember there's nothing here now how do I transfer the power to the other side I do that by multiplying the power here by its reciprocal 7 over 4 multiplied by 4 over 7 and that will be equal to 2 to the power of um, 4 over 7 okay so the reciprocal will you know reflect on the right hand side so that's from here these can cancel this this will cancel this and our k is now equal to 2 to the power of 4 over 7 okay now but the question is are we correct with our in the calculation let's see what we are going to get okay so this is the original equation given to us and we have k to be equal to 2 to the power of 4 over 7 right now let's put in the values for that here let's put in the value for k into this equation now so we're going to have k here we have k Okay, k is 2 now, right? So we have 2 to the power of 4 over 7. Okay, multiply by here. We have um, we have square root of k, right? So that means we're having 2 to the power of 4 over 7 multiplied by 1 over 2 because of the square root. Then on the other side, we have 2 to the power of 4 over 7. And because in the last k is under 2 square root sign, we'll multiply it by 1 over 4. 
just like I said before. Now, will this give us two at the end of the day? Let's continue. Now, here we have 2 to the power of 4 over 7. Multiply by 2 can go there, and we have 2, right? So that means we have 2 to the power of 2 over 7 over there now. Multiply by here, we have 2 to the power of 1 over 4. Okay, 1 over 7. 1 over 7, because this can cancel this. Now, let's add everything. Pick one of the bases and add the powers. 4 over 7 plus 2 over 7 plus 1 over 7. We have 1 over 7 over there. Now, what is the LCM of the power? The LCM of the power is going to be 7. Then add all of this. We have 4 plus 2 plus 1. And at the end of the day, we have 2 to the power of 7 over 7. And then this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1. And then 2 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 2, which is what we got on the right-hand side of the equation. Okay, you can see it over there. Okay, so this is a confirmation that k is actually equal to 2 to the power of 4 over 7. Thank you guys for watching.